Today's video is sponsored in part by Bee Castle. So if you've been following my channel for any length of time, you know that I'm a huge fan of Bee Castle beehives. Now they gifted me a hive a few weeks back for me to review. We reviewed it. And let me tell you, this hive is right and tight with dovetail joints heavily wax coated and they provide you all the frames and everything you need in order to become a beekeeper or to add to your current apiary. Anyways, Bee Castle has something new for 2023 and they've allowed me to have a sample of it so that I can share it with you. Let me show you what it is. All right, so I know that it's springtime and the, the, the bees are flying and the nectar's flowing and the, the flowers are blooming and it's no time to be talking about candy boards, but it is the time to talk about candy boards because if you know anything that you know that 2023 is also going to get cold again come November and you're gonna have to feed your bees. Well, Bee Castle has provided us with a new candy board this year and it's just as right and just as tight as everything else they build. You can set your fondant in here. You can put newspaper down, add sugar, your bees are gonna be in great shape. They're going to have food. Now, after you've put your candy board on, well, you've gotta keep your bees warm, right? You wanna get rid of that moisture, let it wick out of your hive and, and make sure you keep the drafts out. Let me show you what else they've got. They've also developed a nice quilt box. Vents on the side, stainless steel. I believe it's stainless steel. Looks good, whatever it is, and I'm sure it's gonna work and keep the hive beetles out. That's what I need. But this is tight and right, just like the rest of their hive. It's in great shape, nice dovetail joints, heavily waxed on the inside and out it's going to protect you from moisture and it's ready to accept your your hive pillow your burlap whatever it is that you put in your quilt box this thing is ready to receive it and it is going to make sure that your bees are in great shape in the spring of 2024. Well, I hope you enjoyed this look at Bee Castle's 2023 offerings. Now they've got this and a lot more at their website. The link is in the description below. It's beecastleltd.com. That's beecastleltd.com. You can go there for all of your woodware needs. Now, back to the video. Hi, and welcome back to the channel today. Well, today we are going to finish up the work that we started last week. We are going to be going through the Space Force Hive and the Coast Guard Hive to make sure that they are not preparing to swarm. Um, now, I don't think that that's going to be a possibility because we just recently gave them their supers, but if they need another super, we are going to give it to them. That said, I want to thank everybody for all the comments you left last week. Very, very helpful. And what I've decided to do is leave the hives in the configuration that I've got them without the Queen Excluder, with the exception of the Army Hive, the Coast Guard, and Space Force, we are going to run Queen Excluders on those. So I want to thank everybody for the input that you gave me. It really, really was helpful. And the biggest thing that I, I learned from that input was that if you have a Queen Excluder on, the bees will not necessarily go up and start drawing out comb, but if they have drawn out comb above the Queen Excluder, they will go through it. So a lot of the suggestions that I received were to leave the Queen Excluders off until the girls start drawing out comb up above, and then after they've drawn out the comb, put the Queen Excluders on, and any, any larva that they have laid up there in the, in the upper frames, that will hatch, then the bees will backfill that with honey. So that is the plan, the tentative plan for my season this year. Again, and thank you to everybody out there who chimed in and, and, and helped out. I really, really do appreciate it. So let me get my smoker lit and we will get started. Hello. Those girls know I'm coming in. Oh, oh, not a good plan. Not a good plan. Not a good crisis, crisis. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That wasn't good. That was not good at all. Why did that stick? Oh, crisis. No, no, dead bees right up front. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's more smoke on there and I'll get rid of that other, that other bee with the guts hanging out. I'm sorry. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Well, that's not a way to start an inspection. Son of a gun. The good news is this, I see them drawing out frames in this box. Oh man, there's another dead one right there. Let's try to get it out. Oh man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, well, it happens. We're gonna go through all the frames in this top just to see, see how far along they're getting with their wax. Building comb, I think they're doing a spectacular job. Look at that, that is beautiful. Be beautiful. I don't, I don't know that we're going to see the queen up here, but boy, I tell you what, they are getting ready for her. That is a gorgeous frame. 
Oh, this one is gorgeous as well. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. We have a queen cup. We have a queen cup right on the bottom. No, 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 why? And I don't know whether it's got anything in it or not. We're gonna set that frame aside. The queen is already laid. There's a whole bunch of milk brood in here. I wanna make sure, I wanna make sure that our queen is doing good in here. If she is, I'm going to go ahead and smash that. I do not want these bees to swarm. They don't need to swarm. They're not that strong. Oh, another queen cup on the bottom. Not good. I don't see the queen here either, but boy, she is laying. Okay, that queen cup is empty. I'm gonna go ahead and pick it off. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and drop this frame back in. Now why in the world would this queen want to split when this is such a nice hive for her? Well, I tell you what, this smells good. Oh, I can smell it. Okay, I don't see her, but they are making use of every one of these frames that I put in here. They're drawing them all out. Be beautiful. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move all of this over. Wait a second. What do I do? What do I do? You know what? I have to wait to see if I find the queen before I can deal with those queen cells. Because let's say something happened to her or she's just not producing anymore. I want to make sure that if they're building a queen, it's because they need one and not because they just want to swarm. Now it is down at the bottom of the, of the frame, which tells me it's a swarm cell. Okay, I do not see the queen in this upper box. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to get rid of some of this gunk. I'm sorry I didn't mean to break open that drone comb you had at the bottom, but you shouldn't create that stuff. You had plenty of room upstairs. I know, I know, you worked hard on that. I know, I know, I know. Holy moly, I see a ton of drone comb here and here. All right, let's see what we can see here. Okay, there's a bunch. Oh, there's there. We have super procedure cells. We have two super procedure cells right there on the front. But maybe, maybe I, maybe I should do a split. I've got the, uh, I've got the resource hive set up already, so I can actually take two frames out of here with the old queen and a little bit of brood and move her over there and just. Do a, do a small split. That is something I can do. Oh, that is a heavy frame. And that looks like a beautiful frame. I don't know why they're trying to get rid of this queen. It's a gorgeous frame. Let's look at the other side. And th that frame is solid. I mean, that frame is solid. If I were if I were a bee, I would say, "Hey, my queen is a rock star." Holy moly! Where is she? All right, all right, all right. There's a lot of bees in here. I'll, I'll give them that. I'll give them that. They, they, uh, they have boomed. This Coast Guard hive is, is killing it. But just, I don't want them to leave. I want them to stay here for the, for the duration of the flow. Oh, that is a solid frame. Okay, so that is brood on that side, 100%. Slap full frame. You flip it over, the exact same thing. Holy cow. That is what they're trying to do. That's why they're trying to get out of here. This queen has laid in every available place that she's got. I don't wanna, I don't wanna lose this queen. I certainly don't wanna do that. I need to give her the illusion of more space. Okay. There is more brood, plenty of resources on that frame. And we're going to look at the last frame. Hello. Hello. And that is resources. We have nectar. We have nothing on the back of it. Okay, so here's the plan. We have a plan. The plan is I'm going to destroy the super procedure cells. I'm going to destroy any queen cups 
I'm going to give them another box that they can start drawing because that super that they've already started drawing out, she's already laid in there. They're just trying to finish up the cells before the bees grow, so they're all working. Just got to find those. I've got to find those frames that have the super seizure cells. I think it's sitting outside here. I just want to verify that I don't have another one on here. There's my queen. I'm going to put her right back down in here. There you go, young lady. You're doing a stellar job. Stellar job. Okay, there is a teacup right there. Those are three super seizure cells right there on the face of the comb. I'm going to go ahead and remove those. Nope, you don't need those. Okay, so the plan is as follows. That is going back down in there. This is going back on the hive. I'm going to go in there and remove those swarm cells that we saw. Then after I remove the swarm cells, I'm going to give them yet another super with no queen excluder. And just until they draw out the wax, then I'll put the queen excluder on. I want that queen to feel like she's got a place to lay. And I want the bees to feel like, hey, we've got plenty of space to fill up. We have no need to swarm. There we go. More space. Okay, Coast Guard still in good shape. Okay, here we go. So what do you folks think of those new uh, candy boards and quilt boxes from, uh, from Bee Castle? Those are pretty nice, huh? That is pretty nice. For a lot of you folks who don't have, oh, they're filling this with honey already. Resources. It's hard to tell. It's not zoomed in a lot, but maybe we can see it glisten here. Let's see here. Can you see it glistening? They are putting, putting nectar in there. And I'm not feeding these girls, so that is what they're finding in the wild, which means Mother Nature is starting to deliver. All right, what do we have here? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Okay. There's a lot of bee bread in there and nectar. They're working it. There's some green pollen in there. I think that's got to be from, from pine. All right, let's see what we have here. Okay, more. I hate doing this. They've got some bridge comb. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're breaking apart your stuff. I know. I know. I didn't want to do that. It's a full frame of brood and drone, drone cells more brood on this side so they've not only built out comb they've laid and capped these frames up here there's a teacup I'm gonna go ahead and remove it because this queen is obviously working another one right there all right I didn't mean to break that comb apart okay we have another full frame of brood there is a teacup at the bottom I'm going to be closing that we get rid of it Oh, there's two teacups at the bottom. I'm going to get rid of both of them. Yep, there's three teacups at the bottom. I'm going to be getting rid of all three. Get rid of that. That. And that. Okay. There we go. Oh, may see, I hate, I hate all of that. Okay, I'm going to put my gloves on because I'm going to have to clean that up. I don't like wearing gloves, but sometimes it's a necessity because when you start smashing their eggs, eh, they're not too happy about that. They don't like it. They don't like it, and I don't like getting stung. And I really don't like editing the stingometer. I know you guys like it, and you like to see me in pain, but it's really a pain in the butt to edit that thing. Okay, here we go, girls. What's up? Oh, oh, I can smell the honey. Okay, so that, that is a nice frame. It's got some honey on it, a lot of milk brood and larva and capped brood. I do see a queen cup there. Let's go to the other side. Oh, and we have, we have a teacup and it is populated right there. 
we have another teacup that is not populated right there. I'm going to remove this one. And if I find the queen, I'm going to remove that one. If I don't find the queen, I'll let that one go. Oh, but then again, look at that. Okay, so she's working. She's working in there. Let's see her on that side of the frame. Let's look at this side. Oh, she's got some more brood here. So she's, she's working. Okay. She's not doing as good as the Coast Guard. Coast Guard's killing it today. They're doing a great job. Go Coasties. Go Coasties. Oh, man. Okay. I don't see the queen. I see a lot of brood in the middle. It's fresh. Okay, she's laid this entire frame. It's just not capped, but there's eggs everywhere. So she's working. She's working. Let's go to the next frame here. And the honey, I can smell the nectar. It is beautiful. And you know what it is? Now, I don't know whether you have this up north. It's, we have it down here, it's wisteria. And it is beautiful. It's a purple flower, but the scent is unmistakable. And that is what I'm smelling right now inside this hive. So I know that these girls are on the wisteria. Okay, another nice frame. That side and this side. You know, I don't know whether I found her last time I was in here, but I did see evidence. So maybe it's a small queen. Maybe, maybe she's unmarked. I'm just missing her. One more frame. Maybe she'll be here. It's all resources. She wouldn't be on this frame. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give them their medium back. I'm going to put another medium on top without the queen excluder. And as soon as they draw that, that box out, I'm going to put the queen excluder on. Um, that's the plan. Those frames. Okay, so here we go. I don't know if my queen is up here. She may be. Now, if you saw, if you saw my queen at any time during this inspection, leave it in the comments below. Um, especially on these, these, these smaller frames. She may be up in the top. I, I don't know, but she's in there. There you go. More room for you. More room. No need to swarm. No need to swarm. You have plenty of space. Right. So I'm calling it, we do have a queen in this hive. Now really fast, let's look at the army hive because if they need another box, I want to give it to them. Okay, this is just going to be quick. We're not going to do an inspection here. I just want to see if they've started drawing out this upper box that we gave them last week. Actually, did we give them a box last week? I don't think we did. We checked and they, they were not drawing out their bottom box. That's right. Let's, uh, let's go right to the bottom here and see if they're down there yet. That box is heavy. Okay, so they're down in the bottom now. Not drawing out there yet. Boy, there's a lot of bees out front here. They're not too happy. Get in there. Okay, they are. They are drawing this out on both sides. I'm going to go ahead and leave them alone because I, I don't want to put another box on top without the queen going down into this into this part of the hive. I want her down in this bottom box. Now, I don't want to shake her down because they're not prepared yet, but they are preparing and that makes me happy and that's good enough for me. Let's uh, let's run up to the white hive really quick. We'll just check all of our smaller hives today. I don't want this to be a super long video. I know how you don't like super long videos, but these are chores that I've got to get done and I might as well invite you along, right? All right, now if these girls need another box, I'm going to give it to them. Um, they were, they were in pretty bad shape a couple of weeks ago, so I don't think they're going to need one, but I do want to see if they've, uh, if they've made any progress. There is a lot of activity on the front of the hive, so there's something going on in here. I just don't know what that something is. They may all be freaking out, saying, we have no queen, what are we going to do? I don't know. I don't, we're going to find out. Okay. 
I think I'm going to leave this in the hive for now. It's my hive pillow just to help them stay warm. Let's see. Oh, they've got some numbers there. Let's uh, get some smoke on these girls really quick. Before... Oh, and it smells so good. Holy moly. Oh, wow. Okay, this wisteria. This wisteria is out and about. It's in the air. Okay. Let's see, I'm going to hang this over there. Okay, this frame should not have anything in it. This is a brand new frame because this was a seven framer last time we were in here. And I think that was last week for you, two weeks ago for me. Oh. Oh. Okay, you don't know what this is. This is a top secret project I'm working on. I mean, I'm probably going to blur this out so it's still top secret and you don't know what this is. But I can tell you this, it seems to be working very, very well as intended. Let's move this out of the out of the shot. I'll tell you what that was later. Okay. Hello. Hello. Slow and easy. I hope you don't smell any bee guts on my gloves from the last hive. I had to do some cleanup work there. Okay. Okay, there is a ton. No, I don't even know if you can see me in the in the camera. There's a ton of nectar in there. That is all resources. Okay, so I'm gonna hope that when I show you something in this other camera, you can see it. I can't see the lens. I hope that I set it up correctly. I'm going to try. This is the front. This is me. Anywhere in here should be okay. Okay, here we go. Let's have a look. Let's see what we can see. Okay, we have a lot of I do see a little bit of capped brood on there. Not a lot, but a little bit of it. I don't see a queen on there. I see some janky stuff up here at the top. And it's on there good. I don't know whether I'll be able to get that off or not. I'll try. Ugh. Yeah, that's like, that's propolis wax. That's not, that's not even good for the melter. So the situation is as follows. They are fanning like crazy. I think they're trying to put their, hey, wonder attack, pheromone in the air. But all they're doing is blowing that wisteria scented nectar up into my face and it smells so good. It's almost worth getting stung. Okay, I have a couple of queen cups. Right here, one, two, and three. And I have a little, oh, there's our queen right there. And she's tiny. There's our queen. She's not marked. You know what? I think I'll mark her. That's a tiny queen. I don't even know if I... If she wants to, to run away. Maybe I should let her. There you go. Okay. Okay, young lady, we're just gonna put you in here so you can dry. There we go. Okay, well, we know that she's in there. She's doing her thing. She's not doing it very well yet. Maybe maybe she'll surprise me. Let's, uh, let's leave this frame out because I may have to smash some teacups. That queen is awfully small. I mean, she is awfully small. It might be time to... Uh, to replace her. Okay, we have a little bit of a little bit of brood happening there. A little bit of brood happening there. Not a whole lot, and I hope you can see this in the camera. Let's have a look. Nothing there, nothing here. We're going to move this and let her continue to dry. And if they have nothing going on in the bottom, I'm just going to let those queen cups stay and let them supersede her because she's tiny. She's not doing a whole lot. Okay, there is not a whole lot going on in here. I don't think they've done a lot. They're not even drawing that out yet. 
And this is all that really nice, freshly waxed stuff too. I am not going to destroy those queen cups. If they if they want to supersede that queen, I'm going to let them. Um, because she's not performing. Okay, we're going to release that queen. Here you go. Okay, she's back down in the hive. They're all happy. Are you curious what it might be? I'm sorry. But you know me, I'm always working on something. I've always got something going on. Now the hive pillow. And the lid. And we do have a queen. I mean, she's up. She's a tiny queen, but, but she's a queen and she's in there and this is... This is her hive, temporarily. I think it looks like they're going to supersede her and I think I'm going to allow that to happen. Um, I should probably pinch her, let it go queenless, and then grab some, grab some, some eggs from the Crynoch hive. Maybe next week. We'll see how she's doing next week. If she hasn't improved, and if they haven't continued building those, those, those swarm cells, those supersedure cells, she might get the old, uh, she might get the old pincheroni. Okay. All right, well, there you go, the end of another adventure. Now, before I continue, I do want to thank Bee Castle for sponsoring this video in part and showing us their new candy board and quilt box. I'm sure they're lovely, and I may be getting a couple of them for next year, and if you would like to get them, remember, the link is below. You can go to BeeCastleLTD.com. That's BeeCastleLTD.com. Anyways, everything worked out today. We did manage to get through the Space Force and Coast Guard, gave each one of those hives a brand new super, so they are in great shape. As soon as they draw that super out, we are going to give them a queen excluder and keep the queen down in the bottom box. Uh, we also stopped in on the Army Hive and the White Hive to check their progress. The Army Hive is making progress. The White Hive... Well, we may have to let those squirrels supersede or give them a Crynoch Queen, but we'll figure that out another day. So with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, take a moment, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to be notified of my new content. I try to drop a video every Friday. We try to keep it light and have fun. So with all that said, be happy, and I will see you next week. Take care.